Hello, so this is the self-sufficient off-grid hobby farm on Facebook, YouTube, and MeWe. And I wanted to show you a cool little thing I came up with uh, today. So, this little line, a lot of you are familiar with this, with swamp coolers. So what I ended up doing was I ran 150 feet of this all the way out to my animal pens. This is my pig pen here. You can see the, uh, the three nipples on their water bucket. And I just put a little uh, swamp cooler float switch or float valve on there. This is awesome. There's no more filling with a hose every single day. This thing stays topped off at all times. Furthermore, I ran it on down to my poultry pen. However, right now I only have one duck, but I have about 600 pigeons. A lot of you are thinking, oh, what in the world would somebody do with 600 pigeons? Well, you might hate me, but uh, I sell them. $5 a head to... Uh, um, dog trainers and uh, look at that there's a kangaroo mouse ooh bad news sorry anyways uh, let me get rid of that I sell the pigeons to um, dog trainers and also people who like to raise them, like me, um, for food source. The real name of a pigeon is a rock dove. And you guys might think, oh, he's crazy eating them. Well, they go out into nature just like doves do, find their own food. The only reason why I have uh, scratch grain here was to lure them in to this little watering nozzle. And again, another float switch. A swamp cooler type float switch. So, I no longer have to fill these every single day with a hose. They will stay full. Food for thought. You want to find dark ones. I know it gets hot in the summertime and I know that that heats their water up. But, if you get a clear one or a light colored one that will allow sunlight to come through, you'll have a uh, algae or moss or whatever you want to call it start actually growing inside there and we'll plug it up and also can contaminate their water. Darker colors. Blocking out the sunlight. Keeps our water cleaner for longer. This is a neat little uh, chicken nipple here. You can find all kinds of different types of them, but uh, I noticed with the pigeons that they took right to it. Now it's the middle of the night. It's literally almost midnight out here in the desert, and uh, they're in bed, but I was watching them earlier and they came over and they were really curious about it. Before I was feeding them with this. The problem with that is they love to bath with it. I shouldn't say feeding, I was watering them with this. They would love to bathe in it and also they would perch on the edges, the edges and uh, drop their droppings in it. So uh, that wasn't working out so hot. So I came up with this and uh, this will be a lot easier to clean. I'll just bring a water bottle out and with a little... Uh, hole drilled in the lid and douche that out and keep that clean. The one in the pig's pen, I'll just have to uh, probably dump out a couple times a month, maybe. Just food for thought. This simple little uh, um, swamp cooler type line. I ran 150 feet. Now, I run on a well. I have an underground pump house, which keeps everything from freezing. I love the fact that it's underground. But, uh, I have a 12 volt running off of a solar system, a 12 volt pressure sensing pump, exactly like the type that you have inside of a camp trailer. And uh, I just tapped this line into it and ran it out to the pig's pen and then I teed it off from the pig's pen over here to my fowl pen. And uh, yeah, it's a good idea, just something I wanted to run past all of you. So anyways, have a good evening.